hey guys welcome back to my another video uh, in this video i'm going to build the little source functionality on react applications on this app and if you guys watched my previous videos i'm currently uh, built the uh, food delivery app and i already built the login and logout functionality and also a sign in of course sign up uh, i mean so if you guys watch my previous video i'm using the uh, api which is from the uh, uh creating springboard here and this is the api of the swagger document here so if i uh, create a new user if i create a new user here called test and uh, let me create this user test and i could able to create a user and it will sign it will log me in inside directly whenever i sign it and i can log out as well and if i go in log in here using the same user which i created then i can log in as well and I'm storing everything in the re uh, Redux here, right? This was what I did in previous videos. And uh, but what we're gonna do on this one, we're gonna create a little source functionality here. Okay. So I'll just do a logout, and now I will create a little source functionality here. Basically, what happened is whenever we type something, then it will give us the, all the locations of this uh, restaurant what we have here. So so far uh, uh, in this API, so let's go to which API we're gonna use over there. We're gonna use something called the location search API right here. And in this API, we need we can also do a pagination, but we're not gonna do any pagination. Uh, but we can also provide uh, that we don't gonna do any pagination. We can only do uh, some queries here. If I didn't put any queries and if I search it, then it's gonna provide me all these addresses which is available there. So these are the only address which is available at this time over there. This is the only address which is available for the restaurant, only four. But if I search with this one, such as uh, AD, something like that, then it will only provide me the uh, two of these because this is the two of the address that is matched with the my data there uh, on, on tables. That, that's why it will only provide me a two. So I'm going to use these APIs, uh, which is called the find location by query on this one here. But if you, uh, for, if you, seen the other um, food delivery app websites or web app then you guys can see that all the address which is common by the third party applicant third party map uh, software such as like google maps or maybe like map quest stuff but on this one we're gonna we're gonna only use this the guy uh, which i built currently on the back end here okay so this is the api which we're gonna use and this guy doesn't need any uh the uh no need to sign up i mean no need to log in uh, i mean it, it we can access it, it publicly as well okay so let's build that let's build a little source functionality here first uh, so now i will go directly to the my home this, that's my home here this is my home component so here it is so home company has a search so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a list here first and i'm using a bootstrap so I'll go in Bootstrap here directly. So go to search and I'll go to component. Where is the component here? And I will go to the list group. I'll copy this list group and I will put list group here on the bottom here. Okay, let me make a little bigger this one. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the uh, search here on a. Uh, uh, I don't need this. I'll put make it here. So put the search on on here. Let me do a search here and let me wrap this by the div as well. Okay, so now let's see how it looks like. Okay, it looks like this. Now what we're gonna do? We're gonna add some CSS here. Uh, so to add the CSS, I will create another uh, file here called home.css and I will import that CSS right here. Import, okay. Import, uh, that's this. Uh, import, what's that? Home.css, right? Uh, yep, it is home.css. Okay, this is going to be a CSS for my home component. And this is going to be list group here. So this is going to be a list group of search, right? Search location. So I'll just do a search location list group. So I'll just copy this one and I'll just use that CSS here. I will just uh, make this as a position is absolute. So first thing, absolute. Absolute, okay. And this is going to be a class here class name and this is going to be us a... 
search location so I will make this search location as the position relative here okay and yeah I need to change of course this is to uh, class name here and I don't need this everything here I just need only one so let's see how it looks like okay it will show up up to here which is good so this is we I'll just make the width of this as a hundred percent so it's gonna go up to here I will make this a font little smaller the font is little so now let's make okay now it looks good it will show up so when, but whenever we type it we need to show up there so what we're gonna do is uh, for that one we need to create one services uh, folder so I mean we could also directly call the APIs here or we could also create another file here called service it's really up to uh, how you can uh, arrange these files arrange the code in different files right so create a location service so I'll create a function here using a react of functions X compote but I don't want as a react component here so instead of this JXS I can return here the uh, function as well so here I will return a search so this is going to be a search function as e a r c s search a r c s search and search will take what the query right what query you want and now it will return the axios I mean data and I'm going to use the axios to call the API stuff so axios dot get and in a get I need to provide the uh, the API which I'm going to use and this is the API location something and I will only put the uh, loca uh, location query here the reason behind is is I already used the uh, where is my index dot yes. I already set up the my base uh, URL up to here so I don't need to provide it I can only provide the my what's my the rest URL here that's all I need to provide here so I'll just put this one here and here I'll provide the uh, query that's coming through and now I will yep I'm gonna return this I guess yeah yep I'm gonna return this and I will use await and async okay so now I'm going to return it and this is going to be search and uh, that's all so my location service is ready so I need to use it here so what happened is uh, whenever we type it here on source functionality here source here then it will try to need to search the APIs so to do that let me do uh, on change function so whenever the user will type it here right then on oh, why right the console lock uh, let me let me get that value of the search so I will get the value with the with the event here and event event dot target dot value where I getting uh, where I'm getting the value here so whenever we type something then we're gonna call the service here and service we already created a location service so we will get a service here and the service have a function called search and that's a location service right that's it and here in search functions uh, what it does it will take uh, the the query right what query you want it's gonna take it and what it's gonna return the uh, wait wait and of course uh, I can wrap this to async as well async and I will get that data okay so what happened if you didn't get a data then I can use a try and catch so if I didn't get a data then it will throw me the error something like that okay for now so let me see what I get a data when I type it or type it so let me check here okay if I type it then it's still I'm, I'm getting a data which is good okay I got the data here okay it doesn't match anything that's why it doesn't give you but let me delete everything so now it will give me a four here the content is four okay that's what I get so now let's parse it well so I can see the data clearly so here just do a I'll, I'll put it as a rest because response and they will 
yeah it's just parsing the data basically response has a data and it has something called contain and content will give me the object it will give me the object here the object of the location so if i search it now a ad down it's going to give me the object here but state of object i need a string right i need the string for that one so let me let me write this string for that one okay so let me write this string uh, so to do that i'll create the uh, temporary location something called template just a template and in the content inside i don't need to create yeah in the content in, inside uh, you know what i'll do a map because it's going to give me the array so here now instead of this what i'm going to return is i'm going to return the no object i'm going to return the string okay so the string is going to be what the string is going to be uh the first thing is going to be address one that because that's the name of the my here if you guys check here it does a name it does the name of my uh, property here so i don't need this templates at all now oh, you know what i will use this here so the first is address one if i save it that now it's going to return me address one here so what do i have a other one other one is d dot address two two now i need to do a couple of things times here because it has the location has a couple of the property so that it has address state seat oh instead of uh, address better to write a city first a state and the country and before the country let me write the zip code as well zip code so now it's going to provide me this okay looks good so far so i have uh, the temporary list data here basically it's, it's going to be temp location i guess so now i need to put this on my on on here on the bottom here right whenever you search it it will show up here to do that let me build the uh, state here okay so this is going to be my location state okay it's just called the location here so this is going to be empty at the beginning so whenever this guy is ready here then what i'm going to do i'm going to set this location to here and pass this temp location here okay so now the only thing is to loop this on here so here i need to loop it up so to loop it use again a map here map okay so map will provide me a data of course also an index because i will use the index as a key so now that's it now this will give me i'll write it here key and this will be a i and here I will, I will use something called d as a data and i will copy this and put this inside here that's it so now okay use state is not defined so let me define this it will come from the react here on the top so now let's see what's the error okay use state okay okay use state i think it doesn't i haven't refreshed for all that was the error is coming through so now if i type it oh it will show me all this the address if i type it d oh it's going to show me d okay it's really good now i can whenever i change my key now it will call the apis and hold on here it will call i'll show network tab here it's called the apis and give me the address okay the source functions works pretty well but only the caveat of this is whenever we type it it's going to call the api right whenever i type it really fast also it's going to call the api my api is really fast now because i'm running it locally here on a port 880 that's why it's really fast but it really depends on how your server it is if server is pretty slow then it's going to provide a little slow here and it's going to give me uh, it will be very hard for app uh, to to get the data right and just to make this uh, work really efficient uh, efficient uh, axios will provide us the uh, one 
function to cancel it if you type if the user type really fast or if the server cannot respond well then it's gonna cancel that request and it's gonna call the another request which is you can call it and for that one axios will give you or the you can cancel the, the service so i will implement that one as well okay so to do that what we need to do is I have already wrote that code here before. Actually, I already used that. So what we're going to do is we're going to use something called source. And if the source is undefined, then we can cancel that operation. OK, and we will get that source from the. Here it is. So basically uh, what we need to do is we are not going to use it here on this one. We need to use it up to here. And the first thing what we're going to do is we're going to create the source. Okay. We're going to create our source. Let. We just declare our source and we can check that if the source is not defined, then we will cancel that request and we will assign this course from Axios and we will tell here in another a config of the axios they have something called cancel token and you can cancel the token from the source okay token sorry it was token uh yep it was token oh instead of this i need a comma here that's right so now what happened if I really type really fast? Okay, it's, it's, it, my server is really fast here. Uh, hold on. Okay, I'll just refresh this page. So now l let me type that. So it's already canceled a couple of requests such as this. This operation is canceled because it's, it's if you type really fast stuff then you if the server cannot handle it it's going to cancel this if the server can respond it then it will not cancel it it really depends on server that a server can cancel the request or not right if i type something like this then it's not. if let me do a network slow here so if i do a slow slow 3g and if i type a d so the first one is cancel it and i will get the data here right if i refresh then I mean, I mean the server is really slow that's why I'm getting the data slow here but if I type really like this then it's, it's all canceling here they all cancel my request previous request because my server is pretty slow I put a network slow that's why okay that's why it's canceled the request it doesn't go through at all so AD if I type AD um, of course it takes a little time but it's going to cancel this all other requests it's going to only call it this will really help to make the app really efficient and work really well so that's all for this video guys i hope you guys learned something new i'm gonna put this code on github as well so you guys can download it and please uh if you guys liked my video please uh, do like and subscribe my channel thank you very much guys bye for now